Hey everybody, it's Carrie, your friendly local teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library, here to talk you through another virtual craft or noon. And this week we are looking at a story of two bookmarks. So we'll walk you through one bookmark and then we'll walk you through the other one. But as usual, let's take a look first and see what you got in your bags. Okay, lots of little bits in the bags this week. So we have our set of directions and one bookmark is going to go down the row in orange and one bookmark directions will go down the row in blue. You should have a velvet ribbon. You should have two um, kind of pinchers that are going to go on the ends of that. This is sort of a makeshift needle puller through thingy. Um, two circles that are slightly open. Your choice of four different end pieces for the velvet bookmark. Some of these went out in silver and some of these went out in gold. You should have had some yarn and three wooden beads, hopefully, that are open on both ends. And then we're going to use some scissors today, so I went ahead and, and put those through as well. So what do you say that we will start out with the yarn pom-pom bookmark and then we'll move into the velvet one. The first thing your set of directions are going to tell you to do is to measure out two pieces of the yarn that you got about 30 inches. So I can't quite get, get that wide, um, but that's going to be, you guys trust me, right? That's going to be close. So we're going to have two pieces. So I'm going to cut the loop at the end and now I've got two pieces of my yarn. After we have done that, we're going to take this other bit of our yarn. And I'm just going to unspool quite a bit of it. Because the thing about pom-poms is, uh, no matter how fat you get them, you always kind of wish you'd made it more. And I've seen a bunch of different ways to do this, but what we're going to do is I'm going to take my three fingers, kind of like this, and I am basically going to wrap this around and around and around and around and around. I mean, that's, that's pretty thick. Maybe we'll do a couple more. Okay, we'll, we'll call that good. Let's see if I can cut this left-handed. Yes, all right. We're done with this. And I've got my pom-pom here. Now, what we're going to do is basically see, I'm going to ease it off my fingers, keeping its shape, just so you can kind of see what I'm, what I'm doing here. And I'm going to take this, and right about the middle, I'm going to set that. And that's where I'm going to tie. I want to tie it right in the middle. And I want to tie it the absolute tightest knot that I can get. So I'm going to start with it kind of loose. Get both my ends through there. And pull and pull and pull and pull and pull. So I'm going to pull tight again and then keeping it as tight as I can with fingers or thumbs if you have someone who can put their finger there to help you out always makes it a little bit easier so get that as tight as you can as tight as you can okay so now that I've got this tie right around the middle and I've double knotted it. We're going to trim through these looped ends. So anywhere that you have this loop, we're going to cut. And you'll see it start to puff open, which is just what we want. And sometimes it just reveals more loops. That's what we want. All the loops in the world cut. 
And as you go through, you'll find some more. And that's okay. More loops. And what we have, after we finally get all those loops cut, is a haphazard, awkward looking puff ball that is not a very good shape. And basically, we're just gonna trim down those ends. And you just wanna kind of make sure that you're making it a nice round shape, everything even. You can see where your bookmark is gonna kind of come down. So that's a good space to look at it and make sure that you're getting all the extra ends. And this is one of those things that sometimes I set it down and I'm like, yeah, that looks good. And then I come back to it and I'm like, oh no, look at all of those ends. You see some spots you miss and that's okay. Go back in there, even them up. That's getting pretty good. Sweep those out of the way so I can have a spot to work. Okay, so now that we have these, obviously, I don't need three for a braid, or I need three for a braid, I don't need four. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that one down, remove it off with those other ones. And basically, I'm now going to braid these parts. I know we've talked about this a little bit before, but basically all you're doing is taking ones from the outside and putting them over the middle. So this is on the outside, it goes over the middle, it becomes the new middle piece. Then we go to the other outside and it becomes the middle piece. And then this one goes over that one to become the middle piece. Um, so that's what we're gonna do all the way down. And once you've been braiding, um, it's gonna start to get long. And what I did is I measured out against a book kind of how long it needs to be. Cause you don't, we're gonna put beads on the end and you don't want them to get stuck inside the book. You also don't want the pom-pom to get stuck in the book. So I figured out about how long I need my bookmark to be so that it won't get stuck. And we're gonna do my favorite thing. We're gonna tie a knot at the end of the braid. Perfect. Now, we've got our beads. I think I'm going to start with this blue one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sort of weird needle with the hook on the end. I'm going to make sure it goes all the way through and comes in and out clean, which it does. If not, you can take an X-Acto knife or the tine of a fork or the end of scissors and kind of just scoop it and open it. Make sure that this will go all the way through. And then I'm gonna tuck my yarn through the hook. And hopefully what you'll be able to do is then pull it right through and then pull out the ends. Easy way to get that strung on there. So we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna go green next. I'm gonna insert this through, make sure it comes back out, looks good. Put my yarn underneath that hook part. Pull it through. Figure out which side are the loose ends, pull those through. And then I'm going to do the last one here. Looks like it's still going in and out pretty clean. Figure out which are the loose ends. Pull those through. And then I'm all done with this guy. And you guessed it, a knot on the end. And there you go, pom-pom bookmark. Okay, so we move on to the velvet bookmark. 
which I really love the way this feels. I like the way it looks. It's just such a quick craft that I wanted to make sure that we had two this week. So decisions, decisions. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the dragon end for mine. So I'm going to set these other ones off to the side for now. You can always add them back on later too. But basically what we're going to do is these guys are going to clamp on the end. And if you have pliers, you can use those. And if you don't, you can kind of set it on over the end and squish with your fingers. Nice and toothy. Give it a light pull. Don't use all your strength, but give it a light pull to make sure that those teeth have bit onto the end. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here. So we're gonna take our toothy little mouth. We're going to get it centered on the end where we want it. And then we're gonna use pliers or we're gonna squeeze. And make sure those teeth Shut nice and tight. That one I didn't get quite as tight, so we're going to squeeze it again. All right. That's a little better. Now, the loops that I gave you should have an open spot in between those two ends. And that is going to slip quite easily through the end of your loop there. Before you close it, you're gonna find the loop on the end of whatever trinket you decided to put on there. That will also slip right on there. I think I wanna do it this way. And then, these are not super strong metal either, so hopefully with your fingers, you should be able to close that. Get everything out of the way so you can kinda of see how that's closed. And then you've got a bookmark. All right, guys, that's our story of two bookmarks. Thank you for following along. Um, next week, we're going to be doing make your own notebooks. They're going to be tiny notebooks. They're going to be pretty cool. Just a little bit of sewing to hold it all together. Um, one more reminder. If you're wondering what other things are going on at the library or what other things we have available for checkout or for you to do, take a look at our Instagram page, which is at RCPL Teens. Um, our reader's advisory videos are going up there, which is just a fancy way to say books I think you might like to check out. Um, so thank you and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.